All right guys, back here for another video. We're going to be trying out Outlaw paints. They're a model paint. They're an acrylic lacquer paint. Um, so you'll need a, a, a cleaner for the airbrush to suit. But um, yeah, let's just get into it and, and paint a couple of baits. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to paint either guys. But first we've got to mask these bibs up. So let's do it. All right, we must up. Put them on the stand. All right, guys, we must start with the little fella. Now these are glass bottles, so just be careful not to drop them. All right, let's start with the white. It's called cashmere white. It's a bit of an off white, but it's it's plenty good, and it's probably more natural. Um, anyway, for a fish. Each of the lids come with these stoppers in them, which is really good. Make sure they're nice and sealed. I've already painted four baits with these, and um, you haven't had to reduce them at all. Not even the um, not even the metallic colours. Look, they're just as metallic, just as pearlized as um, as you create. It's pearlized. But you don't need to thin them out when you're doing a heap of baits it just makes it so much easier when you don't have to bloody thin shit out all the time and look at the coverage well that's just that's one coat only needs one more thin coat and that's good to go quick heat set another thing i really like about these paints is as soon as you heat set them, you can play with them, you know, you like, you don't really want to do it anyway, you don't want your fingerprints, if you've got greasy hands and that, um, you don't want your fingerprints all over it anyway, but, it, you know, like when you're putting a stencil on to do a pattern over a base colour, they don't scratch or mark your paint like a lot of others do, so I'm really, really liking these paints. All right, let's put another coat. And Heat set. Just clean the brush out, guys. Bear with me. Right, until I get down to the shops, I'm just using a bit of acetone to clean out my brush, and it cleans it up really good. Quick tip, though, is um, use one of these fine tip squeezy bottles so you can squeeze the pressure in. All right. Now, next colour's got, I reckon we're going to go a bit of the green. This is called Fast and Furious Eclipse Lime Green. Pretty cool. Nice bright lime. It's not fluorescent, but it's a very nice colour. Once again, no thinning necessary. I mean, look at that. It just flows real nice. Goodly, goodly, goodly. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm painting here. I'm just sort of making it up as I go. So, yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Got a bright green head for whatever reason. I want to give you all a quick thanks to all the new subscribers. I'm like three away from 400 now, so it's bloody awesome. Thank you very much. All right, um, I've got a little bit of light green, same colour, down the middle of the sides. Set that. All right, now I'm going to go this darker rally green. I think you pronounce it. It's a very nice metallic pearl. 
sort of an emerald green pearl. Let's hit that at the top. And just down the, uh, the shoulders there. Bit of the nose. You know what? Heat set that. Right. Yeah, I only just heat set this, and that's good. You could put whatever stencil on that, which I'm going to right now, I think. And we'll get the black. This is another Fast and Furious charge of black. It's cool. It's just black as black. Good pigments. And because these don't have a like a, a squeezy dropper top top, grab yourself some of these um, squeezy syringe thingies, the droppers, and and just use them. Yeah, pretty pretty easy and cheap to find. So you don't need no fancy stuff. Just get into it. Right, back back with this. Quick heat set. And I said it takes no bloody time at all for this stuff to dry. Doesn't mark easy, doesn't scratch easy, it's just, look at it. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got that bit of a pattern going down the spine now. Just bear with me, I've got to find a bloody hair comb. Right where I left it, guys. Right where I left it. Yep. I'm just going to put some bars. Still got some of that Fast and Furious Charger Black from Outlaw Paints. And they're Australian guys, like nothing against any other country at all. And I really have enjoyed for two years working with um, other paints from across the world. But if I can support a fellow Australian, then why wouldn't you type thing, you know? Same deal. Right, we've got a clean brush and um, we're going to try this Go Mango. It's a nice natural sort of orange. I'm going to chuck some under the chin. I don't want much there. Just, just a little bit of orange under the chin. A tiny bit right at the tail there. That's good. And I'm going to put a little bit on the on the fin. Right, that shall do that. Oops, that right. I'm going back to the Fast and Furious Charger Black. I've already dirtied the bottles, good on me. And we're just going to hit around the eye. Uh, and that's actually looking really good. Just a sort of simple one, but I'm going to just go at the start of these fins with a bit of black. There we go. That's better. Same on this side. Okie dokie. So that one looks pretty good, guys. Nice orange, white, belly, orange fins, dark around the eyes, black bars, a lighter green along the center. Darker green on top, and that um, that mesh type pattern on the back there looks good. Right, clean the airbrush and on to the next one. The Outlaw Paints guys, check them out. They're doing bloody well, fellow Australians, all you Australian wool makers. I know there's quite a few of you that watch. See what you think yourself, you know. But um. So far, I'll be going back to the main, like, look at it, you know. That's really fresh, and you just can't do that with other paints. You know what I'm saying? Like, good shit, Braden. Braden's the owner of Outlaw Paints, and um, I'm pretty sure he basically does it all himself. So he's, he's doing a terrific job. Alright, guys. Airbrush is clean. Go back to the cashmere white. Right. 
that doesn't even need a second coat. I went a bit thicker on that one, but it definitely doesn't need a second coat. That looks good. Really good pigment coverage on these. Good drying time, good pigment coverage. Scratches less, marks less. Bloody top notch. Alright, I'm going straight to a bit of Arctic Silver. This one's cool. And it truly is like a, a good shake. Make sure you do shake these guys too. They, they need a good, just a quick shake, but aggressively. You know, quick, I'm shaking the shit out of the camera. Look at that silver there. Yeah. I find these, um, don't really run that easy either. You know, like, for a house in there, you think, you, you, you know, you may get runs easily, but you just don't. I think it's because the dry time's so quick. And look at that silver. Shoo! See the crowny one. Hear that? And not a mark within 60 seconds of bloody heat setting. Now we've got the silver down. We'll um, hit this Fast and Furious Charger Black again. Outlaw. I think I'm going to go back to that mesh. That one we use on top of the other one. I'm going to do the same on this one down the top. Now there's a dude on YouTube called Clark's Hill Custom Lures, but he done a crawl with a candy, and I think I'm going to do something similar to that. It's not going to be a proper crawl pattern, just, um, yeah, something similar. Just behind that fin. It's looking good. One right at the end here. There you go, that's good. Alright, let's heat set that. Let's draw. Can you see that? So we got that pattern on the top. The crawl like pattern on the side. And the last one on this side. And that'll do it. Alright, now most people have like a small dot type pattern stencil. I don't have that, so I'm just going to be using a bit of this fine mesh. It's like a I don't know, laundry bag type thing. The Outlaw Fast Furious Charger Black in the gun. In the airbrush. So I'm going to put some in between each crawl pattern. Just lightly, right in the middle. Get him nice and tight. Take the mesh off and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, right, it's a bit hard to see with um, the lines of the scales already in the bait, but you can definitely. Yeah, there you go, you might be able to see it a bit better there. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's clean out the brush. Outlaw paints, Braden, you're the man. This paint is just stunning. I used it the other day. You might have seen on the um, on my social media post. I want it pretty right on top. And down the shoulders. A little bit. Alright, now yeah, we want a bit of colour down the shell edges here. Yeah, just like that. And go around the head a bit more. Yeah, into that gill plate. Running on that fin. Once again, down the line. Jump back and that up. Even more. 
Yeah, now that's, that's looking fire. Alright, get me down the back. So there guys is two really nice paint jobs using nothing but outlaw paints, outlaw model paints, acrylic lacquer. They just look buddy. They look sick. Look. They they're just really really good. And um now we'll pick some eyes, sign them and use Outlaw Paint 2K Diamond Clear Coat Alright guys, we got eyes in, signed Bib Unmasked They're looking fire Look good Alright Gonna use this From Outlaw Paints it's 2K Diamond Clear Coat Comes with two part A's a Part B and a 2k thinner um, it's optional to use a thinner it's a four to one ratio four parts of a one part of b and five percent or up to five percent of your thinner if you need to reduce it i guess it depends on your airbrush needle and um, compressor but um yeah i'll mix some up and spray some on like i said too before but yeah use these things for the paint but I definitely use these for the clear coat and I just use a medicine cup put ratios in mix it up into the airbrush and away she goes and you have about 30 minutes of working time with this clear once it's mixed up so guys so Good ventilation, of course, with any paint and clear. Now you only really need two wet coats of this clear on, on your lures, but I'll go three. Um, it's just me being anal and wanting to make sure you know, it's going to last as long as possible. So I'll let that sit for about 10 minutes now guys, 5-10 minutes and um, until it's tacky and then I'll hit it with another coat or two and should be right. Alright guys, these are going to take an hour to set up. So I've only got one more coat to do on these. I'll let them set and I'll get some final shots for you at the end of the video. Um, so once again, get on to Outlaw Paints. Braden, he does an amazing job. He mixes all these colours himself and bottles it and and has had a fair bit of experience in the field of paints and whatnot hydro dipping and everything um, but yeah get on to him check out their website outlawpaints.com and check out the selection and order some paints and clear cheers guys see you next time